Hello you guys, happy new year. It's the first video of 2019. I'm excited. Your girl has been gone for a while. I've been on a little hiatus since the holidays. And because it's always great to take a break like just how you would in uh, the nine to five, the corporate world, it's nice to take a break. So during the holidays, I didn't finish my vlogmas because I just wanted to take time. The time that I have off, I was already off of work for the last two weeks of December. And so I just wanted to take time to spend that with my family and friends and have time to myself, time to reflect, time to recharge, and time to just plan and crush 2019. With that said, your girl is back. And I'm super excited. I've actually missed filming videos and making content. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Shadell. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back as always. You know, I know you guys are here because of the new Fenty products. I was excited when they announced it on the 1st of January that Fenty Beauty would be dropping concealers and setting powders. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. I've been waiting on this. So, I picked up the Fenty Beauty concealer. I picked up two concealers, the setting powder, the brushes, and everything. So, we gonna get into that today. Let's be honest, Fenty Beauty is killing the game and... Listen, Fenty Beauty came into 2019 like, girls, we're, we don't sleep over here, we don't rest. Like, literally all the things we asked of Fenty Beauty to have when they first launched, they're doing it. So I love their whole rollout that they're doing. I feel like if they would have launched everything at once, it just would have been too much. It would have been an overload. So listen, the, the people over in Fenty Beauty, the corporate side, that marketing team, marketing, their marketing, their strategy, listen, Fenty Beauty knows what the heck they are doing and I'm loving every bit of it. I'm enjoying it from the products to the branding to the marketing, just all of it. So before we get into today's look, if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys will know when I upload and you guys will not miss a video because let's go ahead and get into this look right here. We are not even halfway into January and Fenty Beauty has already came for the girls. Like Fenty Beauty was not playing. Like Fenty was ready to get it popping January 1. So I'm here for it. I'm excited to try all these products because um, in the past, I know a lot of people say Fenty is hyped up, but say what you want. Fenty, I mean, Fenty Beauty, in my opinion, lives up to the hype. The quality is amazing. The marketing is amazing. The brand image, like the branding is just so amazing. I mean, what more do you want? So let's go ahead and get into it. So I am gonna be using mostly Fenty Beauty products. I like to see how well products work within their own brand um, because that can tell you a lot. For primer, I do have the Fenty Beauty primer, but because the Fenty um, foundation that I'm gonna be using, we know that it's all matte, I'm gonna be using the Becca Backlight Priming. Is it filter, is that what it's called? Yep, um, this primer, and this primer is very radiant, like it, gives your foundation or any whatever you're putting over it just kind of radiant makes your skin feel like radiant and glowy and then with with us being in winter and i look like you guys i look like i belong on twilight i don't even i didn't even bring a mirror out here i was like i was just so excited to try everything i'm just using this mirror but i want some glowiness to it, I'm gonna be going in with the Fenty Beauty, of course, foundation, pro matte. I am in the shade 330. Um, Actually, I think, actually, honestly, I think 330 may be too dark for me now because we're in winter. I do think my winter shade, I'm probably like a 310 or 300, but we gonna make it twerk. I do think it's gonna be a little bit too warm for me, but that's because I'm looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Okay, um, I did go a little light-handed. Um, as you can see, you can always tell that I went light-handed because my mold is showing through. Because we know this foundation can get full coverage. Um, and I don't want it. 
That's just my preference. First things first, I mean, I have a so minty from the brushes to the, what is this? Oh, okay. So I picked up, I haven't found my contour shade yet because when I went to Sephora, they were, like, I was there at like 10 a.m. Um, and I just wanted to get in the mall ahead of time because I had other stuff to do, but I just wanted to beat the crowd. But when I got there, they were still putting the stuff out. So I didn't really have time to find my contour shade. That's fine. So I brought two concealers for highlighting and concealing. So I brought the shade 330 and 310. I didn't know which one was going to really give me a highlight. Like I saw that they had made the corresponding concealers to match the foundation, which is great because that's a, I thought that was a great idea because it gives you a nice starting point to start. But I was kind of afraid, especially being that I'm so light right now, that my 330 would blend or right into my foundation or that it would just look crazy. Like, yeah, it would look like a foundation. It wouldn't look like a highlight. So I picked up two. So I have 310, 330, and as you can see, it matches the foundation. This is the foundation. It's, the concealer has the same packaging as the foundation, the nice little frost glass with the white top and the same with these. It's, it looks like a mini foundation but it's concealer this is the instant photo soft coverage for all long wear light as air crease proof 330 310 we can see that 330 is of course a bit warmer and 310 it looks like it has a yellowish kind of undertone i'm gonna go on with 330 first and i'm gonna see how that one looks and then i'm gonna go over it with 310 to kind of brighten it up if it doesn't give me the brightness that I like or if I feel like it needs to be just a little bit more brighter I do like the application on this it's very flat so I think that helps with getting especially up in the eye especially between like the nose and the eye area so So I'm going to use the brush that, which brush is this called? So I'm going to use the Precision Precision Concealer Brush um, by Fenty Beauty instead of a beauty blender. Normally I would use a beauty blender, but I mean, I want to try out the brush just to see how it is. As you guys can see, it was very easy for me to blend that out. Um, the formula feels very comfortable. Like, it feels very good. It feels very lightweight, like it says, light and airy. Um, but you do get good coverage. And it's very, it's like an in-between of like a cream and a satin. Like, it's very creamy. Um, it definitely reminds me of my NARS Radiant Concealer. Um, and that's my holy grail. I love that concealer. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. So like I said, this one looks close to my foundation color and the corresponding concealer is supposed to be a reference play, a reference point to where you start. So you will start with your foundation color, like if you're me, 330, so you'll start with 330 and go down for if you want to conceal and go work your way up from there if you want to contour. I'm going to go back over that in 310 to get a little bit more brightness under my eye. Riri said this is the cure, honey. So if you have Chanel bags under your eye, like I do, Riri said this is the cure for us. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use my beauty blender. I like the brush, but I feel like I blend, I can blend faster with the beauty blender. So this is gorgeous. This, this concealer is so gorgeous. Like the finish is very comfortable. It doesn't even feel like you have anything on your face and it definitely gives you coverage like bags gone this one just blends right into the foundation right into the skin so beautifully the beauty industry got a problem this is so beautiful um this finish is just really beautiful i love the 
finish. I love the color, it's perfect. If you need a reference, like how we all need to compare, like okay, so what does what is this close to? What does this remind me of? This definitely reminds me of the Nardiance Radiant Concealer. I would say it's definitely on par. If you like that concealer, you will definitely love the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. Okay, so Riri got finished powder. So I'm just I'm just glad how they rolled everything out. I know when she first came out, we were wanting, okay, what about this? What about this? What about this? But I like the whole breakdown, the spread out of everything. She came out with the foundations, then she came out with the lipstick, and then she came out with eyeshadows. I like the whole, in hindsight, it was perfect. It was perfect for a rollout for, for someone at Rihanna's level, and it was just a perfect, like, brand rollout. They also have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. So I have the shade Banana because banana powders work for me. Um, I love banana. Um, and they have that yellowness that gives me that warmth and that yellow golden tone back to my under eye versus you guys know I love my Laura Mercier translucent concealer but as you guys know when I use that I mix that also with my Ben Nye to take some of the whiteness out and add more of that yellow golden back into the powder. At per their Instagram ain't no flash bad bitch <laughs> there isn't there isn't any walking around looking like Casper the friendly ghost under it under your eyes so so i'm going to use their powder puff setting brush actually i'm getting ahead of myself let me contour first i'm just going in with the matchsticks and truffle it looks like i mean it's a typical kind of like the same branding a branding of her brushes before so it's just a setting powder brush. Okay, so I'm gonna use a cap to dip, to tap excess um, powder off because with any setting powder, you wanna tread lightly. You don't wanna pack too much on initially. You just wanna build as you go. The setting powder does have a, a subtle smell to it like everyone has been saying but like a smell to it, but it's very subtle. Or like, it's very light. It smells good. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Like it definitely gives you like this flawless finish. Yes. I just love good makeup, like you know? Yes, black girl magic. Any product that says it's crease proof for me is kind of sort of going to work because like I said, I have big eyes and they're hollow and so they just like naturally crease anyway. Like, they just crease. But there are certain type of products like with this concealer and this setting powder, it doesn't sit in my creases so it blends out so well and seamlessly that it doesn't sit. So even though like I have like, okay, cause my eyes are big, kind of like, you know, the, the skin right here, like puffiness, you know, and kind of like here where my eyes go in, my eye bone kind of goes in, like it's hollow right there. Sometimes I have issues where concealers get caught right there and it's like, they start to crease. And it looks really obvious, but with this, nah. I'm going to do a little bit to my eyes. I'm going to use the Fenty Moroccan Spice Palette just to add some color because a girl, your girl hasn't done anything in a while. I'm going to use Socket to Me. I love this color. It's like a very deep, 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 deep blue. So it's literally like this color right here, which is Evil Genie, but deeper. I like that color. And I'm gonna take Moroccan, Moroccan, which one is this? Moroccan Ice. I'm 
going to use the Fairy Bomb 24 Cray. Guys, this is the finished look and I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I love all the new Fenty products, the concealer, the setting powder, the new brushes that she came out with. Um, I also used the Fairy Ball 24K powder. Finally, that's not a part of this new, but that was newer as in quarter four of last year. But um, the concealer and the setting powder is a yes for me. I'm going to do a wear test and see how the setting powder and concealer holds up throughout the day. I'm about to head out. Rihanna has done it again and I'm honestly not surprised because I mean, all of us Pisces are great. We're pretty amazing. So that's it for this video. Happy 2019, happy new year you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.